What strategies do you employ for to optimize component placement for better performance and manufacturability or assembly? Yeah, yeah, this is a great question. So in terms of how a designer approaches this, there are several things that can drive component placement into specific locations. Usually there's gonna be something that's like hard requirement. We're not moving on this. A great example, the, the classic example is connectors, right? Connectors are probably the most common component where it must be at a specific location. We're not deviating on this. Antennas can also be like that. Um, a lot of other times you will have a lot of freedom to pick where you want to put things such that you're really focusing on noise, EMI, and whether or not the board is going to just be routable or solvable, as Mike Creedon says it. So the the noise issue is important, of course, when you're going to go into high volume because you got to comply with EMC regulations. And so if you're approaching that on the front end as a, as a major design requirement, um, then you can overcome, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of those simpler issues that cause EMC failures and that cause SI problems just by number one, building the right stack up, but then number two is laying out different circuits that are going to be noise prone properly. So as a, you know, if you're a, if you're an engineer, you're a circuit designer, you probably have some insight into which circuits are going to produce a lot of noise, either as conducted noise seen on signals or radiated noise from some part of the board. So that's where you focus on placement and layout and really getting stuff close together so that you have everything you need in one location. It's easier to route. Also, it's gonna have lower noise. Um, that's really the first point. The other thing that really drives placement, I would say solvability, right? Is it gonna be relatively easy to route such that I need the fewest number of layers possible?